one. You guys ready to make some fresh pasta? Yes, yes. 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 Being Italian and, and Italian cuisine being my thing, this is my chance to get back up into the top three, get up on that balcony, and uh, I truly believe the dish I put out there is going to get me to that point. All right, we're going to make orecchiette from the region of Puglia. So we use four yolks and uh, two, two whole, whole eggs. Some salt. Love that well, Nancy. How important is that well? La fontana, they call it in Italian. Now, what's important about this process? You have to slowly incorporate the flour. Uh-huh, slowly incorporate it so that uh, it's smooth. Now, you like to do it by hand? I do. It's a nice time that I just get to zen out. You can do this in the mixing machine, but tradition in Italy is called the zdora, the old lady with the big apron on. You're calling well, me no, the no, old no, lady no, no, with the you, big you're apron You're not a zdora. Careful, careful. <laughs> you are a fabulous, fantastic okay, fashion icon you. from Los Angeles who happens to make excellent pasta. All right. Now, the idea here is that we're going to make a dish with three ingredients. Broccoli rob, a little pasta that we made, maybe an anchovy or two. What I really want to reiterate is simplicity. And I think that's the beauty of Italian food. While Nancy slowly works that, I'm going to cook my broccoli rob in here. I'm going to slowly saute them with the garlic, a little bit of salt, and anchovies. OK, the pasta water, salt like the ocean. More salt than you ever think. Is that too much already? How do you know? You got to taste it. It's got to taste like the sea. But seriously, who's been swimming in the ocean? Yeah. Lexi, you never swam in the ocean? No, Joe. I have a lake. I'm in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lake Michigan looks like an ocean. Moving on, Nancy is continuing to make our pasta. How do you know when you start to over need that? No. You can't over need it. Okay. Be afraid of under. Underworking yeah. it. Yeah, no, you need to work it. So she's going to roll out these little logs. You use the flat edge of a butter knife, and you press it down, and let it roll like that. And then you want to invert it. Beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. Chef, the purpose of inverting is so I hold sauce in there, too. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Now you're really getting to A-level stuff. Watching Nancy and Joe make pasta right in front of me is like watching Ferrari make cars. Now, we're going to boil the orecchiette. It's beautiful. It's artwork, and it's legendary. Now, these are 25% undercooked still, and I will finish cooking them in this pan. And the magic ingredient is the pasta water. My garlic goes bye-bye, don't need it anymore. That's why you're supposed to squeeze between the bread. You... Yeah, in New Jersey and Italy, we don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna give it a little bit of grano padano. Bounces nice, so I can tell it's done. Looks great, it smells great. Put it in the plate. And that, my friends, is how a MasterChef legend and her humble assistant make a bowl of orecchiette in cima di rata. Thank you. Great job.